So you want to mine Caspa and you have AMD 6000 series cards. Which miner do you use? Hey everyone, how's it going? So yes, everyone loves to talk about NVIDIA cards when it comes to Caspa mining. Don't get me wrong, I have my own NVIDIA cards as well, but I'm more of an AMD guy. So the focus of this video today is there are four main miners that work for Caspa on the AMD 6000 series. So we're going to be looking today a head-to-head -head comparison between Team Red Miner, BZ Miner, SRB Miner, and LOL Miner. And we're going to be taking into effect the hash rates, the wattage, and also their dev fee. Which one will give us the biggest bang for the buck? And what we're going to be looking at today is I have a Octominer X12 filled with nothing but 6600 XT cards. Now, through each test, we're going to keep the exact same settings. Namely, core of 1375, core voltage of 650, core voltage, or memory controller voltage of 600, Memory clock of one, because remember, CASPA is a core intensive algorithm, doesn't really need the memory. So we save a few watts by basically turning the memory almost off. Memory voltage of a thousand, um, which is one volt. This also saves a little bit of power. No power limit. You really don't need that on AMD. And we're running an SOC frequency on these cars of 550 with an SOC VDD max of 785. Now, First thing we're going to look at, Team Red Miner. Been running for quite some long time. This is what I normally use. And you get 2.9 gigahash at 379 watts of the wall. Now you can, people know, AMD usually don't take these wattages for granted. But I'm in an Octo Miner X12 case. This is being reported at the wall. We can trust this figure. So all 12 of these cards combined, plus the hardware itself, 379 watts so now let's go ahead and switch over to bz miner see what the difference is here so here's bz miners they're running for just over two minutes let's refresh here real quick oh okay almost three minutes and we're pretty stable about 2.68 giga hash a uh, little bit less exact same wattage exact same settings will it be any better in the long run we'll check the spreadsheet that i made at the end of this video so let's go over to SRB Miner. Okay, so here is SRB Miner. You see we're getting 2.735 giga hash. Um, it says 379 watts again. This is acting kind of weird. So with that being said, I jumped over to my PDU, the remote access for it, just to see what it was showing. And for Octo 1, we're actually doing about 420 watts. So we're going to use this metric. I got to go back real quick and test the other two just to get their wattages. And I will plug those into the spreadsheet. We'll take a look at those at the end. In the meantime, let's go ahead and switch over to our final lull miner. And finally, here we are on lull miner. And we are getting 2.88, 2.89 giga hash. Again, it still says 379 watts. Let's check again. And... Bounce around a little bit, just like everything else does. 404, 405. We'll go with like 403, 403 watts for Lull Miner. So give me a few seconds. And as Alter Component always says, we'll take a look at the nerdy numbers. And also a quick shout out to uh, Yeti right here. Yeah, the guy with the flag right behind me. Yeah, he's always a good soundboard. And I suck at making spreadsheets. So give me a quick little bit of guidance on... Just making sure this looks good so you guys can understand it. So this is my CASPA AMD 6600 XT times 12 minor comparison. We have Team Red Miner, BZ Miner, SRB Miner, and Lull Miner. Versions are listed right here. Their dev fee, Team Red and BZ both have a dev fee of 1%. SRB at 0.85% and Lull Miner at 3 quarters of a percent. Each hash rate we got is right here. And this is the power measured at the PDU, because for some reason, I don't know why the screen was just stuck at 379 watts, and that's not really indicative of true performance. So finally, this is where it matters. 
watts per giga hash with the dev fee included the lower the number the better less watts plus the dev fee added into it means you're going to get more hash for less watts and make the most yeah basically something like that so starting with team red miner 130.71 watts per giga hash that takes into effect they also had the highest uh giga hash rating for the whole rig their dev fee is the highest with bz miner at one percent but at the same time they have their miner really optimized only 385 watts the wall leading us to them being number one so number two is lull miner at 138.50 roughly rounded up a little bit definitely a bit of a disparity but not nearly as bad as the other two that we'll get to in a second a little more wattage at 403 a little less hash but also at the same time less dev fee so that keeps it from being too much of a rift between first and second place third is bz miner again about the same amount of wattage as low miner but definitely less hash rate and a higher dev fee which leads them to one 149.60 watts per giga hash and finally srb miner sorry buddy you need to work on your optimization a little bit more for amd for caspa or something like that uh most amount of watts at the wall in the middle of the pack for hash rate uh and the dev fee is 0.1 percent more does play a little bit into it but this wattage is what's really hurting your optimization and sorry you get last place at 152.03 watts per giga hash now keep in mind this may change for 6700 cards 6800 cards 69s uh, i only test the 6600 xts and also remember all of my timings these were all the same and these are fairly conservative timings it's meant to be efficient especially in this day and age believe it or not it's actually profitable hold on a second hashrate.no everyone loves using it so do i let's go gpus let's go rdna2 let's find our 6600 xts you can see i already have 12 selected in here caspa now see this number is a little definitely off but even with the numbers if i ran it i would still make a dollar 10 profit so fortunately i don't think you can change it in their gpu calculator yet so if i put amd 6600 xt where the heck are you at 68 67 6600 xt 12 of those now it won't let me actually edit it though will it yeah see it won't let you actually edit the numbers though so to get the true profit i guess we're gonna have to jump over to what the mine 385 watts and i am at 12 cents kilowatt hour so keep that in mind calculate caspa on that rig i am making 61 cents a day now if you had 10 cents kilowatt you have 79 cents a day not massively profitable but definitely immediately profitable and if you believe in the project and expect it to really do a lot in the next bull run potentially very profitable so that's it for this video there's your comparison i've always used team red miner but i want to take a look at the other three major miners that are available for amd 6000 series cars using caspa um this also does not take into effect dual mining, triple mining, anything else. Just straight up CASPA. So your results might be different with dual mining. Thanks for watching all the way through the video. Thumbs up, please. Come say hi over at the Misfit Mining Discord. And I'll catch you next video.